or take over yacht. Okay, so coming in for the third and final glitch, I had to include an awesome wall breach in this video because I know you guys love these type of glitches so much. And this wall breach is extra special because it's forever moving around the map. As you guys can see, I am currently standing in the cockpit of the train. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you could easily access the cockpit of the train to put together some little cool snapmatic pictures, little videos, or just troll your friends online. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is head over to any store in the game and just fill up on snacks. Buy every single snack inside the place. And if you're a bit rowdy like me, then go ahead and rob the guy to make your money back. Every penny counts in GTA nowadays, legit lifestyle. However, once you guys have got your snacks as I do, you want to run onto the train track and then jump on the train as I do on screen. You want to try and stand like a meter away and then press jump so you guys don't jump directly into it and then get flattened. So that most of you guys should be able to do that. It's very basic how to get inside the train. Now here's the important part on how you guys can glitch inside the train cockpit. The cockpit obviously being the front end where all the details are. So to do so, you want to get your character's body facing towards the cockpit, standing on either side. So you can stand on the left side where this window is or the right side. It also works in the middle. I'm going to show you guys this later. However, once you guys are standing as I'm doing on screen, you want to pull up your interaction menu. Now this is important why you guys want to stock up on as many snacks as possible. You want to start eating a snack and as you're eating the snack, start walking forwards towards the cockpit and you want to slam down start very quickly and then back out as i do on screen you don't have to do that extremely quickly it works either way however from here you just want to leave your character don't press any buttons and eventually your character's body will start glitching towards the cockpit sometimes this takes 10 seconds sometimes it takes 30 seconds the reason being is because when the train moves left or right or goes up and down that is basically what's going to glitch your character in towards the uh, cockpit so don't panic and start thinking it's not working this is why a lot of people started to think it wasn't working when i was telling them but as you boys just saw it will glitch like that very quickly and then from here you can just walk forward however i waited till it glitched me a little bit more in and then i started walking around so it could take like i said 30 seconds or a minute or two just be patient with it and eventually your character's body will get glitched into the cockpit so it did only take me personally about 10 20 seconds to get glitched inside of the train it shouldn't take no longer than a few minutes because eventually the train track will hit a point where it just pushes you forward slightly a little bit by a few centimeters and if you you guys do have someone in your free room chasing you down in like a jet or a big heli and press rb up against the wall and this train won't stop because of a few rockets this is a great thing about this wall breach now it does also work on the other side so if you don't want to do it on that side you can glitch in through the driver's side as you guys can just see on screen right now i thought i'd include this just to prove to you guys that it does work on both the driver's side and the other side this is so easy. I managed to like guide my friends who I was playing in the session with to get inside without showing them any gameplay just by literally just describing it to them. So as you boys can see, my guy just got glitched in there. It will look like their bodies are kind of spazzing out at the start. That's a little sign that it is working properly. But nonetheless, it really is just a cool wall breach to know as you guys are consistently moving around the map. So you can definitely troll your friends with this. Take some cool snapmatic pictures inside of it. Or even if you guys like to put together little rockstar editor movies, this gives you a whole bunch of more potential to be like a train driver in that little mini movie or even if you guys do a bit of role playing why not become a train driver for a day <laughs> so like i said just a bunch of potential to troll your friends and have fun with online however nonetheless that's going to do it for me guys three awesome and fun glitches that you guys can use within gta 5 after all the latest patches working on xbox playstation and pc if you're still watching to this point then you probably have enjoyed the video so all i ask is you drop a like down below feel free to subscribe if you're new around here as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video